Hey, everybody. How cool is that intro, man? I love hearing that. Damn, I love hearing that. Hey, Admiral. Admiral. Tommy Scoville, how the heck are you? My kid is on the other side of the glass where he used to kick it back uh, before he was the captain of this vessel. I'm not going to lie to you. I, uh, I called uh, I called my kid up this morning and I said, you know what? I kind of want to get on the boat. Um, and <clears throat> he was kind enough to say, yeah, cool. I'll tell you why. It is. It is Tommy Scoville. I'm going to do a little roll call, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to talk for a few more uh, minutes before we do so that everybody can get here. Right. But I'll give you an idea. <clears throat> it's ugly out there, people. Right. Charlie Murphy. What's happening, man? Good to see you. People. Did you know that Layla is not in the United States? Did anyone else know this? Am I the only ignoramus on the uh, on the lifeboat? I had no idea. Like this, I found this out yesterday. This absolutely blew my mind, right? Absolutely blew my mind. Yeah, I did not see that coming. I am not particularly. Um, Melbourne, good to see you. Happy you're here. Um, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have some uh, some grins today, right? But <clears throat> but we're gonna talk about. Uh, I think we're gonna talk about some some important stuff, some cool stuff. And you know what? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all kinds of deep people. And it's Sunday. Don't trip. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna scare anybody or do anything that's gonna uh, that's gonna bum out my kid or the channel. But uh, I got some stuff to say. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate that. Let's see who we got. Russ, that's absolutely impossible. This is an imposter because uh, we all know that. Russ is working 195 hours a week. There can't be any chance that's Russ. And Charlie Murphy is here. He's a rock star. Zen Wen, what's happening? Another rock star. Chitty Chitty, good to see you. Christy Hughes, thank you. Hey, family, for you and the mods. Oh, you know, never fail. Kristen Melinda, good to see you. Cindy Collins, nice to see you. Nat B from Canada. Miss Sunrise Dawn, what's happening? Jason P, good to see you. Good morning. Life is Sunday. Lisa Trimble, good to see you. Good to see ya. Yeah, happy to be here, man. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Millie, good to see ya. Breezy girl. Happy you're here. Uh, I'm gonna we're gonna start stretching our legs here shortly. Take her out to sea. Nicola, checking in from Yorkshire. Good. Sling blade. Good to see ya. SB. Well, now we can start. There's a relatable Reese. I was uh holding off for the uh, for the old ball and chain from the other channel. <laughs> Stay Spiria, good to see you. Becca Jean, how are you? No, I'm kidding, Anna Nicole. You know that. SB. All right. I think we can. Uh, Izzy E, I think we can fire this rascal up. Um, well, and the Scovilles love you too. Uh, so <clears throat> it's ugly out there. It really is. Um, and I feel like it doesn't matter when you were born, right? People are going to tell you that you live in the worst of times. Never seen it this ugly. Doesn't matter when you were born. I promise you they were saying that in the teens. They were saying that in the 20s. And they sure as crap were saying that in the 30s and 40s, right? Um, Christy, every once in a while you need a break, right? I feel that. I'm glad that you're back. In the, uh, in the 50s, they were thinking it. In the 60s, especially late 60s, right? It was as crazy as it had ever been. We saw a year with a couple of people that got knocked off. It was awful, right? Assassinations. This was insane. <laughs> Couldn't, couldn't get worse. Early 70s, right? Vietnam, super ugly. And the first heroin epidemic, bad, right? 80s and crack. Boy, every single generation says it can't get any worse than it is right now, can it? Uh, I don't know, man, right? The drugs on the street now are fentanyl, right? The lifeboat could talk about that for the rest of the time I'm here. Fence ugly, right? It's dropping people at a rate you can't imagine. It's the ugliest thing on, uh, on the earth, right? Oh, I don't know. Not necessarily. It's pretty damn ugly. Uh, this stuff's pretty nasty, right? This stuff's pretty nasty. For real. There's a lot, a lot of really ugly stuff in cyberspace. There is. And there's a lot going on that just makes you kind of want to bury your head in the sand, right? Or stock up as much crap as you can possibly get and hide from the world. Eh, for real. Does it make you want to uh, want to hide? I'm not going to get political, I promise you. Right? But we rewrite history, and I'm not getting into 
anything political, I promise you. Let's talk about um, Penn State. There's a football coach there named Joe Paterno. It turned out to be a low life. He allowed some stuff to happen underneath his uh, care because he was the head coach. And he allowed uh, kids to be essayed in the locker room. And for that, he should have been shot in the back of the head. He had knowledge of it, and he didn't do anything about it. They took his statue down, and they should have. Then they vacated every single one of his wins. So if you won a championship with him, and you were one of those kids who played in that game, you're not the champion anymore. Right? Because that douche nozzle did what he did. We're going to vacate, and we're just going to rewrite history. Right? We're just going to throw out all those all those wins. Doesn't matter. Right? It's, a, it's an extreme case, and it's stupid. It's just sports. But it's an extreme case, right? We have a we have a history of doing it, and we're doing it more every single day. And we're doing it in the in the uh, the guise of we want to make sure we don't hurt anybody's feelings, right? There is a full all out assault on one of my favorite things on planet Earth. Right. The female. I'm not even joking. You. I'm of the firm belief that uh, a woman president would be a really beautiful thing. I'm not joking. I've said this before. But I would want her to uh, to be a, a woman. Or I'm, I'm not right? born that way. I'm not being disrespectful, but I think that there's just some kind of a connection that they have to love and to the earth that's different. I believe that. I think women are a little bit different. And I think guys can get there. I do. I think guys can get there. But it requires you kind of pulling down a bunch of uh, like rugged looking armor and allowing people to see you. And that's super uncomfortable, right? But with all of this ugliness going around, right? We look back and we're tearing down statues because years ago we had slaves. We did all kinds of stuff in this country that was so ratchet that it's just, it's uncomfortable to talk about, right? It is. It's uncomfortable to talk about. And you say, what would you have done back then? Right? If you were there, what would you have done back then? Would you have done something? Would you have stood up? Or this is a philosophical question that all kinds of people talk about, right? It's way older than America. It predates everything, but... It's one of those subjects, right? It's pretty rugged. It's pretty rugged, and I, I'm, I'm all for, uh, I'm all for not celebrating any of that. But the question becomes, what would you have done if you were there then? Because I got a better question for you. What are you doing now, huh? Because they're going to be talking about this feces that we're running around in right now. In 25 years, the way that we're talking about crap that happened in the 40s now or the 30s, right? They're going to be looking back at things that are happening right now and talking about them as if they were horrific. So the question becomes, what are you doing right now? What are you doing today? And I don't mean you got to change the world, by the way. I'm not suggesting that, right? But... We lived a very different life at one time, right? If it sounds like I'm beating this connection thing to death, you know why? Because it's more real than anything on earth that that we can all friggin' understand, right? I don't care what you pray to. I don't care if you do pray. Everybody can understand this because pay attention real quick. The ugliest stuff in the world is going on. We can agree on that. This is never, we've never seen anything like this. These are the worst of times, right? I got news for you. These are the best of times. These are the best of times. I'm talking to people. I didn't even know my friend Layla was not in the same country or town as me. Care deeply about Layla. Didn't know because I can have relationships with thousands of people that I'm not necessarily going to run into. Although I'm going to really try to change that. But We've shrunk the world viciously with the internet. This is the best of times. There is so much cool stuff that we can do right now that we never could have done before, right? We have the ability to reach out a million ways to connect with people, and we don't, right? What this thing should do is make it so that we all have a much easier time gathering and getting together. Do you know why the divorce rate is through the roof? Eh. 
because nobody hangs out with anybody anymore. I promise. Back in the old days, there were tribes that hung out, right? And when you started doing stupid stuff like cheating on your wife, the tribe took you aside and said, hey, Tommy, the hell's wrong with you? Seriously, what the hell's wrong with you the whole time as you're doing this? This is a friggin' embarrassment. You're not doing this anymore, right? What are you doing? A tribe, right? Now what do we do? Now you call someone and people go, oh man, leave that. Get away from that woman. She's trash, right? We don't call people that are going to say, hey, hang in there. Because there's no tribe. There isn't a tribe of people anymore who hang out with one another that actually have the good of the tribe at heart. It's a pretty cool time, right? There are people all over the planet that are telling you that's never coming back that we're never going to be those people again. That technology has made it so that we're never going to be connected to one another again in any kind of a real way, right? And I promise you, we're on the precipice of that. We are dancing on the edge of that because the things that make this the greatest time on earth make the potential for us to become so shut in and so disconnected. Uh, you don't have to leave your house for anything anymore. You don't have to leave your house for anything anymore. Unless you need a haircut, right? I mean, you kind of got to get a connection unless you buy the Floby. You're going to have to have somebody cut your hair, I think. But other than that, you can pretty much have everything you want dropped off at your front door, can't you? Can you not? And if you got Prime, can't you have it there in 24 hours? Can't beat that, right? Anything you want on planet Earth and that crap will be there in 24 hours on your doorstep. Gotta love, gotta love premium, right? Or Prime or whatever they call it. Can't drive down the street without seeing a hundred <laughs> vehicles. And guess what? The other day somebody came here to deliver something and this was a mom, right? She had a kid in the back seat. But she had on that uh, that Amazon like uh, bib thing, and uh, they got people delivering in their own cars. They're uh, we're getting busy, not getting outside, aren't we? <laughs> I mean, we're getting really good at not meeting anybody. You can order anything you want on this planet and have it at your doorstep in 24 hours. By the way, no joke. You saw that uh, thing that I was uh, building in the backyard. Uh, there were things that uh, Mama Scoville ordered uh, uh, for that that arrived the same day. <laughs> like, that doesn't creep you out a little bit. You're not old, I guess. I'm like, wait, what? Didn't you, you like, the, the order just went through, and here it is. Piano Mom probably really gets it. I, I grew up in a place that was so much slower. I did, right? I grew up in Mayberry RFD. And the world that we live in today is so much different, right? But the beauty of the world that we live in, nobody talks about anymore at all, right? We spend a lot of time talking about how bad it is. We spend a lot of time talking about how bad it is. And this box, this stuff, this stuff can be absolutely the worst thing in the world. This can be worse than drugs. Or we can use this stuff to do amazing things. We're connecting in really, really uh, serious ways, real ways, okay? Watch a call-in show. Seriously, watch how people react. We're starved for connection in a way that no society before us has ever experienced. And the insane thing is we have at our disposal Every bit of technology that this planet has ever achieved, right? That, well, most people would agree. <laughs> yeah. It should shrink. It should make it so easy just to, just to connect. It really, it really should be super easy. But the reason people are overdosing at the rate that they are is because we are an unhappy society, right? We're an unhappy society. Guess why? Huh? Guess why? Because we disconnected from each other. 
And if you were a conspiracy theorist kind of a person, eh, you might feel like they were trying to do it to us. <laughs> I'm not being funny. You know, you could almost go down a rabbit hole where you go, it almost looks like they were trying to do it. Now, even if they weren't, a perfect storm of fecal matter divided us viciously over the course of the last 25 or 30 years, right? But we can connect on Messenger for instant communications. You bet we can, right? We can Snapchat pictures of ourselves, right? We can Snapchat naked pictures of ourselves instead of maybe actually like being with somebody, right? Um, and very often not being with the person you're actually with, right? How many people are doing that crap? Um, the town I grew up in was voted best town in Nevada because it was a village, right? How cool a concept. How cool a concept. I'll tell you something. The town, the, the small town that I grew up in, right, was actually next to a smaller town, right? I mean, I actually grew up in an even smaller town. But uh, my mother taught every single kid in that town how to read for 20 some odd years. There was not a kid in that town. <laughs> that my mom did not teach to read because she did the kindergarten for free. Why? Because the village didn't have one. And that's how they did it back in the day, right? My mom showed up and said, uh, where do, where do they, they do kindergarten? And they said, uh, we don't have a kindergarten here. And my mother, uh, you know, sort of yelled at this school board meeting and the guy said, do it yourself. And she went, gotcha. And she got him to donate a building so she didn't have to pay rent. So she did it for free. And she taught, I'm not joking, every single kid that went through there. It, it was a better world, right? But imagine if we were those people still and we had these. <laughs> I'm not being funny. Imagine if we were hanging out as groups of people, right? With unlimited access to knowledge, right? We could hang out as, as people and have access to unlimited knowledge at our fingertips. Think of the unbelievable discussions that we could have, right? The two plus two equals four, four plus four equals eight. Those debates can be answered. The only debates left to have are the ones that are philosophical and fun, right? But they've got us so divided over the stupidest crap on planet Earth that we can't get together to have an interesting conversation. Oh, there are AI, uh, there are AI girlfriends and boyfriends. Forget about it. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. There are apps for this. There are devices that you can buy. This is terrifying. But it's the world. It's the future that we're going in, right? Hey, Lord Kisfrey, good to see you. Is it, is it a frightening time to be alive? Yeah, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. But there are fear porn. You know what that is? You guys know what fear porn is? Fear porn's a thing. Fear porn is a thing. And I'll tell you what, um, I think it's probably always been around. But when people had to do typesetting, right? To tell you that the sky was falling, crank that out on pieces of paper and run around town. They couldn't do a whole lot of damage, right? But if you have the ability to, to say anything you want, and I'm not suggesting, I'm not picking on anybody. There are, there are people out there that highlight very, very real things. And there are people out there that just are making a living off of scaring the crap out of you. Okay. Right? Fear porn. You know what I'd like to think? I'd like to think that we're slinging hope porn. <laughs> How about that? How about a little connection porn? All right. Hey, Midnight Show, what's happening? Good to see you. Ben Turner's here. Would it, uh, would it kill us? Would it kill us to all come together a little bit more? Yeah. Nicola, I was probably going to end with that, actually. You know, there is a Chinese uh, 
saying that says, may you live in interesting times. And people very often say that it's not a uh, like a proverb. It's an insult or a curse, right? You say it's like you, uh, you know, you're cursing someone. You say, yeah, may you live in interesting times. Um, man, oh, man, would you want to live in boring times? Huh? <laughs> Seriously, that's the other option. You want to live in boring times? <laughs> uh, hippy dippy to be sure rolled off the top of my dome jennifer but you understand the concept <laughs> it's pretty awful to be honest with you. but you understand the concept shannon smith god bless you i don't want it i don't want born i don't i don't i want to uh i want to live in fascinating times for real I, I don't want years down the road, right, for my great-great-grandkids to go, what was granddad doing then, right? When the crap was hitting the uh, oscillating device, huh? what was Tommy doing? The dash, right? The dash, you all hip to the dash. Right, it says Tommy G. Scoville, July 1970. Right, and there's the dash, and whatever the other number is, it's about that dash. Hey, Tiffy Tiff, it's about that dash. What the hell do you do in between? Because you're here right now in interesting times, right. You can make some memories is a really good idea, okay? Hey, mountain girl, I don't, I don't have a problem with anybody being, I am, I live the most boring life on planet earth, I promise you, but I am definitely living in interesting times and I am forcing myself to get out of this house. I am forcing myself to go out and uh, shake hands with people and to meet people and to hug people, right? I'm going to do that. And it's not my comfort zone for a guy that's is really, really comfortable talking. I don't like being in crowds of people. I can't stand it. Right. I don't mind standing at the front of a room and talking to a crowd of people. Right. <laughs> yeah. You do make your own interesting times, right? If your life is a if your life is a story, right? You're the protagonist. It's a, write a good one. Um, write a good one. And I, I I dig boring. I would like I would like a a wife. I would like a wife, maybe a second cat. I'm so boring. I don't think I want a. Uh, I don't think I want a. Uh, a dog too much effort all that all that walking it and you know and all of that like the cat looks at me like you know uh today today's not your day tell me we're not hanging out the squirrel just disappears she's kind of an independent lady squirrel is right until she really doesn't want to be and then it is all about her charlie murphy you are uh the rock of gibraltar my brother absolutely the rock. Hello, Geo Planet Jane. Good to see you. You know what, people? I am not a, being a downer. I hope you understand this. But I, I also hope that hey, this is my brother Nick. What's happening? I am the noise opera. Good to see you, my brother. No, but as we are living here right now in these interesting times, right? Everything that's happening underneath this universe. I don't care what you believe, right? I don't care what you believe. If you believe in nothing or you believe in something, whatever is out there is allowing everything that is happening on this globe today to be happening, right? We are living in the times we're living in, right? No matter what you believe, we're living in the times we're living in. So I think that, uh, I think if you're moving toward kindness, love, connection, you're probably doing the right thing. I think if you're moving away from stuff like that, right, and not calling out other people who are moving away from 
I think we live in a time today that, you know, we need to be careful with that cancel culture crap. We really do because people get canceled now for farting. But I'll tell you what, there are people who you would think would have been canceled by now, right? You, just, you can't cancel a guy like Diddy, apparently. You can't, right? He's not cancelable, is he? Like the entire world knows what this cat did, <laughs> right? Allegedly. Allegedly. A lot of video out there for some alleged stuff. No, I'm not part of that camp. I don't think you are either. There are... Uh, there are a lot of uh, incredibly kind people that gather around this camp, right? For real, it's the uh, it's the starting of a tribe. I think it's I think it's awfully cool, and it does not matter. Uh, I'm not talking about the lifeboat, by the way. I love the lifeboat, but I'm talking about a tribe of people that are finding each other uh, online, right? A tribe of people who are connecting with one another online. Be careful, right? I mean, always be careful. Get to know people before you run, uh, you know, and uh, uh, it's always frightening, right? It is. There, there are frightening people all over the world. But for all of those frightening people out there, right, that make you want to stay inside, there are some pretty fantastic people, right? Spend a lot of time getting to know them. Use discernment. You will find some of the greatest people you will ever meet. Yes, I'm afraid of people who can't get canceled. Nearly, it's a great comment. I'm a little afraid of those, those uh, people myself, right? Um, yeah, if uh, I respect everybody's beliefs, I really do. Nicholas says, I believe in a consciousness that's benevolent. I was brought up by a God. Uh, fearing wider family. Um, I honestly can say that uh, I, I like to uh, I like to allow people um, their beliefs because it's just so immensely personal, right? I mean, honest to God, it's uh, and and happy to talk about it, right? But it's one of those things that if you talk about it when someone has not asked you to. In this day and age, people get very offended by that, right? Which is sad, for real. I love it when somebody talks about their religion. Honest to God, I do. I love it. Whether it's mine or, or anybody else's, I'm fascinated by that. Absolutely fascinated by that. But I am also fascinated by hearing people's political views that don't align with mine. Providing they can articulate them, I think that's one of the most interesting things ever. For real. To be able to sit down with somebody who, who can articulate the point you don't agree with, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'd rather watch a debate, right, than a porn film. <laughs> but there aren't any debates. Now people scream at one another. A debate was when two people would show up and one was trying to get their point explained well enough so that the people listening understood exactly what they stood for in this particular debate. The person that you are uh, sitting across from does the exact same thing, right? It's not about personal this, personal that. The idea was your ideas against his or her ideas, right? Cool concept. Not done anymore. <laughs> it really isn't done anymore. No, we scream at each other. Yeah. Doesn't take a lot of effort to scream at each other. It also doesn't take a lot of friggin' brain pan. Oh, you know what? When uh, when the admiral starts dropping the uh, friggins, it's probably a a good time to uh, to bring on the uh, the captain. Um, you know what? How cool was yesterday, Calhoun? That was pretty sweet. Oh, huh? that that I don't think that could have gone any better. I guess if I had done a little introduction, right? Like, hey, this is you know, so-and-so and, 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 you know, yada, yada. I think that would have been the only, only way it would have gone a little better, but I mean, it went pretty perfect. I, I loved it. it. And I'll tell you something. Um, I have a completely different, uh, a different respect for Mary Jones. And that's one of the really unique things that happens when somebody goes from an avatar, right. <laughs> to, to a, a face. face that you see and send you, yeah. you here. And it's why call in shows are so fantastic. It's why live it's why live is so popular these days, right? I mean, we used to watch TV. Now you can be part of the TV. 
How cool is that? <laughs> right? How cool is that? This really is a great time to be alive. Right? It's a great time to be alive. There's, yeah. a, lot, there's a lot of bad stuff going on. Don't, don't get me wrong. But it is a pretty cool time to be alive. I think For with instance, the good comes the bad. Correct. A little balance Absolutely. That, and, and that, you nailed it. Uh, Just pouring coffee onto my desk, everyone. Just making a big puddle. 15% of the population has a personality disorder that lacks empathy. A 30% increase since the 70s. I don't know that I, uh, I don't know that I would argue that. I would, uh, I sure would, uh, you know, I would need to, um, to do a little more research on it before I, uh, I spoke about it with any kind of intelligence. Um, cause I put regards one of my least favorite here. things to do is to, uh, is to talk about things that I'm not particularly well versed in, but I would not be surprised. In fact, um, you, yeah, you would have no problem whatsoever selling me on those numbers or even higher numbers. Right. Um, I, I still believe wholeheartedly that we are currently creating an entire new type of individual and it's not going to work well. We're going to start to connect with one another, right? Or really bad things are going to happen. I think we're off to a smashing start, you know? I, yeah, I do. At least um, here in this community, I think we're, we're setting a great example for, for those that have yet to come to water. I, uh, you know, the, um, I love the idea that you got. I love the idea that you got. I think it's, uh, uh honestly an opportunity and, and the, the boat would have, uh, would, I wish that I had done this and, uh, and thought of this because where the boat could be now, what Calhoun is doing with bringing on new talent, because that's exactly what it is. People who are out there creating connections, giving them an opportunity to showcase, um, you know, what they're doing on a bigger platform, right? Because, you know, we, we spent three years building this one, right? So if we can get you onto this one and let people check out what you're doing, they can hit subscribe, right? More connections are built. We don't believe in a zero sum game. And I think that I'm not, I wasn't smart enough to, uh, to see the, uh, the angles when I said to, uh, to Spanky, you know, how cool would it be if you could do 24 hours a day? I mean, it would kill you. Right. But that would, that was always my dream. And he was like, here's how you do it. <laughs> so it's a different world. And that's what I'm talking about. Right. That's a beautiful world. The world that that technology is in. Right. That's a beautiful thing. That is the potential. Arwa, my friend from the other side of the uh, pond, right. She's talking to us from, uh, from the UK. That's a beautiful thing. Right. I have friends all over the world. I think fluoride would be a good topic. You know something? It's here's, here's the thing about that one. You want to hear something crazy? Yeah, let's go. I know you got all the knowledge. Yeah, but the craziest thing is this. It's on the it's on the uh, the list of uh, words that if you say that about three or four more times on this video, we're going to get a yellow instead of a green. And you know that to me, if Isn't... I could see that list, I think it would be very telling. I think right? it's very telling big companies, at least in this country, are connected to a certain narrative. It's not okay to say that word. It's, Why? It's, uh, because they don't want us talking about that it's a poison. What it's they say, probably the cause of this autism and Alzheimer's here, and, you know, right, and it's not the sole cause. You. Here's what they would tell you. There's their argument. And I'm not. I'm just telling you, right? There's like debate style because I don't believe yeah. this. But here's their argument. What they say is this. The algorithm is going to pick up about 60 or 70 words that certain people who have been really outed and famous for being kooks, right? In the mm -hmm. past, this was one of the, the key words that these people really harped on. Now, it's absolutely legit. Sure, absolutely legit. Unfortunately, the people that ran with the stories very early on, a lot of them were not legit. Right. Um, but it's uh, here's the other thing. And I'm not trying to bum anybody out. But if you happen to take um, if you happen to take Prozac, right, um, Google the ingredient list in Prozac. Get a good look at the uh, at how much fluoride is in that drug. 
I I have a question. I must have been not focused because I was typing something. But did you say? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like you said their reasoning is to battle misinformation. Their yeah, their this is their huh. theory is that the that's uh, very they would interesting. Like to do that. Yeah, that they would That's like to very uh, interesting. They would like to police information. Correct. This whole freedom of speech and freedom of press thing really doesn't apply at all unless it suits, does it? Very no, there's a lot to that. And uh, and I'll tell you something. I love it. Dangerous talk, but I love it. <laughs> I do. But you know something? Dangerous talk we're needs talking to be about said it 36 because, minutes in, right? You know, but you know something? That's what I just said right? That is what I just said, right? We live in interesting times. People are going to look back and go, what would you have done if you were around in 2023, 2024? Right? Well, we are. Would right? have found so, a way to talk about it. I tell you We're what. talking about it. We're talking yeah. about it. And you know what? You kind of got to be careful, right? Because now oh, yeah. the question becomes, why is it in um, Prozac? Okay. Do you know the first people that ever, we'll, we'll go dive right off the deep end. Let's go. <laughs> Do you know the first people that ever played with this stuff? Huh? Um, it was originally for, um, mental stuff that they didn't fully understand at the time. Right. So for like depression, for it. a wider uh, array of deeper the guy seated, with the terrible mustache, right? Oh, I did not know that in the thirties, they were doing an awful lot with trying to, um, mellow out their, uh, I love that your torty uh, spotted me. Uh, they were trying to, to make a more docile, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, populous. They wanted uh, they wanted a more uh, wanted a more docile, docile population. That concept blows my mind, and I kind of feel like, and maybe I'm crazy, conspiracy theorist, paranoid person, but I feel like that is a concept that is enacted currently. That's our present state of affairs in the United States, especially with all the power that the I agree with you, Geo Geo Planet Jane. You know what I mean? Yep. Think that we are being docile, for lack of accurate grammar. There are all kinds of folks who absolutely need psychoactive drugs. I agree. There are. I'm not discounting that at all, but I also think that um, the advertising of and prescribing of drugs is also used as a weapon in this country. I think that the problem becomes very often that when we walk into a uh, office and we say to somebody. Um, I'm feeling really, really depressed. Okay. You can feel really, really depressed because so many, there reasons. are horrific things going on in your life and you really don't have the tools to deal with that. And that causes you for a very long period of time to be very, very um, unhappy, right? That's different than having a chemical imbalance in the brain. But those two people that walk through the front door are going to get treated the same way. More often than not, they're going to get treated the same way, which is let's put you on a um, uh, let's put you on medication. By you, babe. I believe New Zealand also allows pharmaceutical advertisements on television. Um, somebody can fact check that for me, but I think New Whatever Zealand right also allows it, or they did. Up yeah, until it's recently. just the U.S. and New Zealand that allowed direct to consumer pharmaceutical advertising. Yep, it's us in New Zealand, but you're very close, right? You're not far off. Uh, it's, it's only a little bit worse than you thought. <laughs> um, Lacey says, so does Canada. I was not aware of that, to be honest with you. I was, um, when I studied this, they said that the only two were, um, were New Zealand and, uh, and the other. Um, yeah, as far as what kind of things you they could have you on for bipolar depression, um, where'd, where'd your name go? Kate Murphy? I think that Lexapro is pretty, I think you won with that. I think you did. Yeah, I think you made off like a no, bandit. You know what? I'm not a doctor. Um, and, I, and to be really honest with you, what's going to work for one person isn't going to work for the next person. And it's going to work for the third, right? Because every single person is a little bit um, different. Tiffy Tiff says my depression was circumstantial. Now I'm able to be uh, off of the meds. Fantastic. I love that. I love that. I think that in the best possible case scenario, we all spend so much more time talking to one another 
right? So that before we walk into a, a doctor's office and say, hey, man, I really feel like I'm depressed. We've had that conversation with five friends first, right? I have a feeling by the time you got to the third friend, you might not need to go see that doctor, right? But unfortunately, it, it, you know how many people don't have a friend they talk to on earth, right? But they talk to a, a therapist. It's almost like we live in a world now where you pay for, uh, for somebody to listen to you, right? A lot of people. Um, I am blessed that I've got uh, two really tremendous uh, uh, friendships that uh, I, I currently have uh, going in, in my life where I can talk to, um, to people that really get into to fantastic uh, conversations, some deep philosophical stuff, right? And we don't have to agree on everything. I mean, holy hell, one of them's quibble. And you can't agree with Anna Nicole on everything. Nobody can agree with Anna Nicole on everything, right? Love she's, you, Reese. Uh, she is a, uh, uh, she's strongly opinionated, and I love that. She also, uh, she also is not at all someone that's going to get bummed out at the uh, debate <laughs> and then be mad at you afterwards, right? The, the two of us have a really excellent way of, um, of kind of going at it and then uh, just being done with it. Uh, Debbie P says, I just started taking Lexapro and it helped me a lot. Fantastic. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Um, and, uh, if you, uh, I have, uh, I currently am on a, um, uh, I am currently on, um, a, um, I take psych meds and I have, I tell people this every time this comes up, I have absolutely, uh, nothing but, um, but respect for that, uh, process and that community. But you got to talk to your doctors. And I'm telling you, I went through everything before I got to the one that, that worked for me. I tried a lot of, uh, of them. And just as a guy, um, they mess with your junk, right? Something fierce. In fact, one of them messes with your junk so badly that they use it. They prescribe it in lower doses now for people who suffer from premature uh, ejaculation because it makes it so difficult for somebody to finish the uh, job that they're now using it off label for that awful stuff. Um, Shelly Kelly says, I take Lexapro and Wellbutrin and they help me so much. Wellbutrin uh, is the drug that I take um, off, you know, um, a generic, but same thing. Uh, Bupron. I can never say that one. Right. Flicks. Uh, Flick Fox says Americans are definitely being overdrugged. Calhoun, you want to do something really uh, fun for me? Sure. Uh, this is an interesting, bu Buprurion, thank you. Um, it's interesting to Google. In 1976, what was the average um, number of prescriptions? 1976? Yeah, an American had an average of three prescriptions a year or whatever. Compare that to now. It's absolutely stunning. I did this in a deep dive. Uh, I can't remember the number, but it's... Um, it's ridiculous. It, it, it was, uh, it's gone up hundreds and hundreds of percents. And the reason is, right, we now advertise the crap out of drugs. We used to walk into a doctor's office and it would go something like this. I'm having this problem at night, drives my wife crazy, right? My legs go and I, I don't know what it is. I can't seem to control it. And it's really starting to, uh, to mess with my sleep patterns and yada yada, right? Well, I'll tell you this. Now you walk in and go, I want Lyrica. Go ahead. Um, what I'm looking at here says that the expenditure, the prescription drug expenditure in the United States, I have a graph uh -huh. in front of me from 1960 to 2022. In 1960, we spent $2.7 billion. Right. In, tw in 2022, we spent $405 billion. There was a marked uptick. In 1980, we went to $12 billion. 1990, 40 billion. And this is on drug expenditure. So that's ads, that's research, that's doctors, that's all, all that, right? 122 billion in 2000. And then the real, the real money started getting spent in uh, 2005 and on. So basically the war in Iraq and on looks the, like, um, it's, uh, uh here's the, where here's, it, you know, here's where we're at. And I, 90% of the time, Anna Nicole, but nobody agrees with you always. Uh, Here's where we're at for real, though. The um, You currently take sertraline for depression and clonazepam for anxiety. 
I love when people do this, by the way. I love when people do this because there is a phobia. Um, and very often, people who take um, meds for uh, for anything that, or they go and see a, a therapist or do anything like that, there's a stigma attached to that, right? Like who the person's nuts or whatever. Look, I, I, I tell people all the time, right? I have an entire team just for my dome. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a, uh, it's an important thing, right? It really does kind of, um, it, it makes a very big deal in your life and your brain is not always your best friend. When you come to that realization, life gets very different. Reese, I'm so happy you're here. I was just talking about you earlier. I was saying really nice things. Um, by the way, really nice things. Yeah. By the way, if you, if you can get a friend of the opposite, uh, of the opposite sex, it's absolutely phenomenal. It really is. Unfortunately, we very often get friends who are just of, uh, of the same gender. And having every single friend you have be a dude, right, is a very different thing. I have conversations with Reese that I just, I'm very unlikely to ever have with a guy, right? But they're conversations that I really need to have, right? I'm, I'm, I'm benefiting so dramatically from having uh, her in my life. I, I recommend this connection thing more than uh, more than I can possibly explain, right? I, there's no way to put it into words. You you, uh, you really need to begin to connect. They seem to want us not to. That should be a hell of a reason to make you want to, right? <laughs> it's uh, it's always a dead giveaway, right? If they if they don't want you to do something, there's got to be a reason. But everything seems to happen in a way that makes it, right? How about homeschooling? You don't even need to go to school, right? Homeschooling, right? We don't need- I we dated a girl that was homeschooled um, and she was a very interesting person. Yeah, I'm not, I, I love the concept of homeschooling. I meant when the entire country decided to do it at once, when this, um, this thing was going on. We, we honestly got to a point where we said, you're not going to go to school. And you're not going to be going out. So you're not going to interact with anybody, right? Johnny, my brother talks about this all the time. He says, what, what about the babies? What about all the babies that looked at people with masks on? There's never been, there's, do we know of babies that have ever done this? Do we know what that's going to do? Right? We're finding this out. Is, I, I'm a, I'm a, I live in a world that if we don't go out and start really Lisa, I did not see your question. I wish I knew what the question was because I I'll saw this it. one. <laughs> uh, I honestly, I, I wish that uh, there was, yeah, he, human interaction. I wish that I wish we got to a point, tippy tiff, that 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 was real. Right? I wish we got to a point where that was real. You know, starfish. Let's, even if even if that's one of your beliefs. That's kind of a harsh uh, statement, right? It's kind of a harsh statement. And harsh statements are never good. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm really not. But there are people here that guaranteed by the time this is all said and done, someone watching this will, will be someone who homeschools their kids. I don't necessarily know that, that, <laughs> that that's a cult. Um, and it's kind of a harsh way to say it. If you say, I don't think homeschooling is a good thing. I, I don't think it's a good thing because... I think it's essential that kids get an opportunity to go sit in, in a, a class and learn together because the interaction and the social interaction, watching people learn at different rates, being in a classroom where that happens, teaches you compassion. It does. I remember the first time I remember specifically the first time that I felt sorry for somebody and it, they were making us do uh, book reports. And this kid's name was Lester. And he got up to have to do an oral book report. And he was in hell. He was in hell. I could watch it. Like he, you could see how rough he was going. It was, it was just awful. And I remember thinking to myself, you know, that this poor dude, awful thing, right? But he got through it. I, I graduated high school with that kid, right? Ended up being a, a, a fantastic reader. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. And I, and I happen to believe that if you're, if you're homeschooling your kids, that's great. I would have loved to have been able to educate my kid. 
but I would have spent a bucket load of time making sure that he had to be around other kids, right? Mara, what a great question. Mara says, but Tommy, how can you turn the tide when everything being invented now pushes us to isolate? Well, um, I'm going to, I'm going to choose to uh, agree to disagree on the premise itself, right? Because this thing absolutely, no, I won't, I won't disagree. These can push you to isolate, but they don't have to, right? They don't have to use this device, right? As a way to find people in cultures that you never would have known before. Use this as a way to talk to people in other countries and find out that, you know what? We're not any different. We're not any different. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what part of the world you're from. I don't care who you pray to. We are all the same. We really are. And we're just trying to get through this, right? I think this thing has the opportunity Honestly, like the crazy people that first pitched the uh, the whole internet thing, right? Those those late night conversations where they said this is going to save the world, right? That's what they believed. They really, truthfully, and honestly believed that this was going to save the world. Because think about it, there were people in in parts of uh, of Asia and parts of Africa, and where you just did not have, you know, what starfish. You're going to leave now. Seriously, N not forever, but you're gone for the day because you're just being a jackass. I ain't got time for it, man. Just yeah. for the record, I know I say this every time I put someone in timeout, but no matter what action I take, what it says is that they were banned and their comments were removed. So right. they're in yeah. timeout. They're welcome back. I like starfish, but I do too. But here's the thing 50% of the world, right? 50% of the world is going to say that they believe in some religion. So calling people religious freaks, right? This is these this verbiage. You understand that words it's just mean not things. in love. You know, right. that's not that's not what a, I said a like, love thing. Oh, you're a genius. Well played, right? It's not it's not going toward love. It's going the other way. You could say and the I mean, same thing. It would it would go miles, I think, at least for me in my mind to like try and understand where these other people that, that you know you're judging are coming from but that's not that's not uh, what the statement said the statement said i judge you and this is how it is and i don't i'm not really into that no me either and you, context is everything here's the thing i don't i told you how i feel about it i don't think it's a good idea but i'm going to say this i understand the people that do it because they're thinking I have metal detectors at the front door of the schools, right? And how many school uh, shootings were there, right, last year? This is where I'm sending my kids? No, right? I understand the mentality, right, that makes people want to pull back. I get that, right? Don't you get that? I really do. I don't necessarily think it's a great idea because I think even though this world has so much ugly in it, it's got a lot of beauty. And we just keep talking about the ugly. We got to start. Gets it. Yeah, we can have, you could say the same thing. You can say, I don't, here's one of the problems that very often the people who do this seem to be of religious persuasions that get quite fanatical, right? If you had said that, it's the same thing, isn't it? That's not. Man, you, you really bring them in. Your them. energy is uh, magnetic. Um, I tell you what. Polarizing, is that the word? Ooh. I like magnetic better. Ah, there you go. <laughs> um, I would like to believe that, Sling Blade. Hey, Rip Curl, good to see you, my brother. Forgot what we were talking about. Love people about, for man. who they are, right? And and how they treat people, not hate them for what they believe, right? And and oh, if a person, yeah, I mean, it, who cares? Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll address this one too, man. Scroll on by, scroll on by, <laughs> you know. Thank Rolling you. Stone raises a very valid point. If this country valued education, teachers would be paid a living wage. Let me tell you. Well, something. now I don't know they if you're familiar be. with this phrase, living wage. That means a wage that you can live on. Yeah. So that means they, that the the price of living is lower than your wages, which. Apparently is not the case for teachers in America. 
I mean, it, the, here's the problem, right? When when a guy that throws a ball through a hoop, right, through a ring, makes seventy million dollars a year, but the woman that teaches your kid to read or the man that teaches your kid to read gets paid thirty six grand yep. a year, there are our values are screwed, right? If if a guy gets paid twenty five million dollars to make a film, right, and we pay teachers forty grand, no, that's there's something really wrong with that, right? I try to avoid zombies too, Nat B. Um, but be prepared anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, I, I, I would be prepared and ready for the uh, the zombie apocalypse just in case. But I'm uh, I'm trying to not bring anything in uh, in with them either. I liked the zombie fiction before it became like a really popular thing. Like back in the day, uh, like a. Uh... Call of Duty Zombies, like the original World at War version, or yeah, like uh, Resident Evil, way back you in the were day. So into that as a kid, super oh, cool, man. You were so. But into now that it's as like, now it's like a fad. There's a. I saw a truck in, um, Salt Lake, but it was like a army surplus truck, like one of those cargo trucks with the thing on the back, like the tarp on the back, and it was all painted and and. Uh, blinged out with zombie apocalypse yeah. like artwork and whatnot. I thought it was kind of funny. Like, why would you spend all that money just to drive around in an inefficient gas machine? When there's no yeah. real zombies. especially in this day and age. Like when I was yeah. in college, I had a friend that had the uh, the Scooby Doo mystery uh, mystery mobile. That's I mean, cool. no, and That's it was. Cool. I've seen perfect. a few of those in my day. Yeah, it was perfect. Uh, is the plural of zombie zombie? If not, Z it should be. I believe it's Zombus. <laughs> you go with Zombus. Right. I, I could go with that too. I could go with that too. Zombi, you know. I do like to read sci-fi. I definitely err on the side of fantasy, but I'm definitely into sci-fi. I think the last sci-fi I read was her. Dito Street Station. I'll have to grab it out of my no, neck. This evening, that. I'll I'll pull it out and we can look hey, at Shannon, it. Shannon, you never have to uh, apologize for a uh, misspelling. Are you kidding? You know you know who you're uh, you're talking to, right? Um, yeah, never. Every, everybody was just apologizing for their uh, zombuses. Zombie. Um, I do like uh, the ability to change the um, the uh, the vernacular of the day. I think that's a really cool thing. And you know what? It's it is the reality is that right now is a very very difficult time for people to uh, to live. It is it is a very hard time. And a lot of people. I saw a comment that said, you know, um, living with uh, living with my son. This is happening everywhere. Um, it is. There's. It's hard to make a living. It really is in this day and age. Believe that. No matter what you do, it's hard to make a living. And that's uh, uh, so why I've been uh, trying to talk uh, Quibble into moving in. She just won't have it. She won't hear of it. But uh, trying to do that just for you know save save on rent. But um, she's not having it. I love it when people apologize for typos when I'm in the chat. <laughs> I am the subject matter expert on typos. Nice. Um, hey, Henny. Good to see you. Henny. I love Henny. All right. You know what? If the plural of goose is geese, then shouldn't the plural of moose be meese? Interesting. And that can't be, though, because the plural of mice is meese. Right? Well, you have a mouse, yeah. right? Mice would be two of them, and meese would be me. like, you know, four or five or six. Hey, hear that? Oh, squirrel nut zipper. Tommy. Okay. Uh, there you go. Kind of wanted your thoughts. Disappointment. Going to go. <laughs> what were the thoughts on? I'm sorry. I didn't. What was the question, Calhoun? Did you see it? Uh, I mean, I, I can spend the next five minutes scrolling or she can re-ask it. I'm really um, I sorry. I did pull it up. I'll pull it up again. And I missed it? Uh, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Here, maybe it won't take five minutes. Maybe I, I know where it's at. Da -da 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 -da. How about that? Da -da 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 -da. Um, Sandy Wandy, I think that, uh, yeah, it probably helps. Uh, in my opinion, I think that instead of screaming at each other, people should find a middle ground and go from there. What do you think? Um, I love the idea of having something that um, the parties rally around. In other words, two golf fans 
One happens to be Muslim, one happens to be Christian. Golf becomes the thing that they can rally around and uh, and talk about. And then later on, maybe they can discuss their religious beliefs calmly because they both know that, you know, one can't putt and the other one has a terrible, uh, you know, short game, whatever. The That kind of thing where you rally around something, right? You rally around something or someone. That to me is the... Um, uh, Sorry, you know the best possible case scenario. You're good, Colin. Uh, that to me is the best cause. Uh, that's the best case scenario, and that's kind of what happened here in the beginning, right? We we started to be, you know, because I didn't want I want to get high, and I the normal meetings didn't work for me, right? I'm so grateful. And obviously, for there was that a lot feeling. of other people that felt the same way. What's that? I'm so grateful for that feeling, like the feeling like I don't want to get high anymore. Like, yeah. Imagine never getting that. It'd still be out I there. Think or yeah, dead. I think I honestly think every single person gets it. I just think that the window is Can open. Can you count for a short on it though? Like, I yeah, just it's oh, a no. scary thought. No, no. I mean, especially when you look at the numbers, right? I mean, the numbers are awful. I do not know how you guys keep up with the chat even a little. <laughs> um, I don't, Kristen Melinda. I'm I'm horrific at it. Um, Lisa, I love you. I do. I really do. Um, gaggle of zombus. Sounds a little off. Yeah, a gaggle of zombies does sound a little bit off. I think a zombies you right. sounds kind of dirty, doesn't it? Right? Like maybe it's a fetish. There's a zombies well, room there as well. <laughs> it, it honestly makes me think of there's an episode of Rick and Morty where they're, I think it's they're watching interdimensional cable or something, and there's this ad on TV for a plumbus. Oh, yeah. It does everything. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm off. Is that it? This is uh, this is my Sunday, Calhoun. You don't have to be off, but I am. This is my Sunday. I love you all. I am uh, heading off to uh, to God's house. You guys have a good day. Love you. Thanks for hanging out, Dad. Love you. Yep. Yep. Well, how about that? How about that? I love it when the admiral comes to fart around. That was pretty sweet. Did you guys enjoy that? I don't know where Johnny is this morning. Um. I did see him in the studio earlier, but I'm sure that he is uh I'm sure that he's off to to church with my dad. It's a weird that is a weird thing, isn't it? Why do we park in a driveway and drive on a parkway? I always wondered why some people park on the lawn. It's like, man, you don't even like your grass, do you? You know? A murder of zombies. A plumbus. Yeah, that's right. That's what it was. All right, y'all. I'm probably going to get out of here too. Um, I know we've been talking about and like possible interviews and a night yard with Russ and all these things. And I'm just trying to get a solid foundation and get these time slots rolling and whatnot. Um, so these things are coming. I just want to make sure that I feel secure before I start branching out too much. Um, cause that's one of my, one of my true skills is to get too many juggling balls metaphorically in the air. And then, uh, I'll drop, I'll drop some that I thought I had down, you know? So I don't want to, uh, so to speak, drop the lifeboat balls. So we'll get there. I'm glad you joined us sling blade. Good to see you. Um, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and check to see if you've been unsubscribed. Um, I hear that's going around. Um, yeah. You know, WP, WP asks if there's any extra lifeboats today. I don't have any scheduled, but that's because we are building the schedule. So if any, any of the ripples want to come on today, shoot me a message. Um, I'm still also trying to get my messenger out to the ripples. Um, not all of them have it, and some of them are using Restream, so I need to figure that out today as well. So hopefully I can make that possible uh, for tomorrow or this evening or something, you know? Um, so that's my plan. I'm going to look into Restream. I'm going to catch up on my comments and emails. Um, I missed you guys yesterday. Um, and I believe we're doing a call-in show on the Relate boat at... 1 p.m. Pacific. Call in, relate a boat, 1 p.m. Pacific today. Yep, hit that like button, subscribe, bell for notification. Love you guys. Have a great day. Love yourself um, and be be patient with yourself. It's a, uh, it's a marathon, not a race. And we got this, all right? Let's see.